Hi guys, it's Monica. Welcome to my weekly vlog. Yes, I think this is the third week in a row that I've done a vlog. Oh my gosh, even when I don't have much to share. So in this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of my week. Nothing super exciting, but I wanted to share with you the results of the Sandcastle contest. I wanted to show you what the number one winning Sandcastle was and then just take you along with me as we went to a RV motorhome, sort of like a grand opening of an RV store, which was sort of a bust, but we had fun. And then just a little bit of everything that I went through this week. And at the end, and way more importantly than anything else, I truly believe that together we can create a sort of a ripple effect of compassion and really help transform the life of a very special, special lady here on YouTube. So if you're curious, stay tuned and watch to the end. Thank you so much. I'm wearing my, my um, seat belt over my chest instead of behind my back. The last few times I've been in the car, I was at the seat belt behind my back because I didn't want that pressure on my chest. So, Jay and I are on our way to go to my sister's. We are running a tad bit late. Whoops. And um, we're running a tad bit late because I got I got stuck in, in Walgreens. It was like I had to pick up a card and there was one register that was malfunctioning and there was only one register open. So it ended up being like this crazy delay in, you know, getting, trying to get someone else to open a register. And then it was just one thing after another, it took forever. So that kind of waylaid us, I think almost by 15 minutes or so, or oh, longer. Least, yeah, 15. yeah, it's like crazy. But we're on our way to Adelina's uh, second birthday party. So I don't know, that should be, I don't know, who's gonna all be there, but that should be fun. And tomorrow we're actually going to the, um, is it Camping, Campers Inn? They're having a grand opening in a new location. So some of you may be interested in that or not, but I'm gonna obviously share some of the footage. I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna do that with Mike and Judy. And um, this morning I ended up, and this is just gonna be a warning for you guys, right? So if you get kind of grossed out, at Scars, I'll, I'll tell you where not to look. But uh, this so this morning when I ended up taking my shower, I because uh, I haven't been able to take my Band-Aid off, and uh, but this morning it came off and I was horrified. I was like fainted in the shower when I looked down and I saw my scar. I just I knew it was I knew it was going to have a scar. I mean I knew there was going to be a scar there because I she was explaining the procedure to me, but I didn't expect it to be. Um, quite that big I guess for that long right it's about that long yeah about what did you think about three and a half inches yeah so I'm gonna superimpose a photo here so close your eyes um but as you can see it's pretty red and and uh, and pretty ugly looking I am going to be on Monday going for my post-op and at that point in time I'll probably get clearance to start using scar away so I'm gonna kind of follow the progression of that scar as well and um, but just having the clean pathology report oh, as I awesome. mentioned in my previous video that was like that was huge huge oh my gosh you know that made me feel like a weight had just been lifted off my my shoulder and and I just I just felt like I could smile in honesty you know like a real smile instead of like a like a forced happy smile <laughs> So anyways, um, yeah, so this week, this vlog is not going to be, you know, probably super exciting because there'll be some camping stuff in there. And we brought our motorhome over to um, Complete RV in the town next to us yesterday, right? We did that yesterday. And he's going to be working on the awning over the slide window, putting that up. We had ordered that, but... I know not everyone follows the camping stuff that I talk about, but uh, we are, we've got a little bit of a dilemma with windows. So we're hoping that we get that resolved somehow, some way soon. But- um, Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah. Is that when, what, Thursday? 
they're, yeah, I'm surprised too. I would have thought they might have called and just given you kind of an update, but you know, who knows? Uh, we do a 4th of July plans with the RV and that should be really, I think, lots of fun. I, I'm assuming this is going to go live before the 4th of July stuff that we add on. So this vlog will probably be short because it's kind of nothing much, at least at this point, not much to talk about. I'll probably include a little bit of footage from the birthday party with all the kiddos running around. Oh, exciting. Ooh, exciting. But for sure tomorrow we do the camping bit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so who knows what this is, but this little or big, tons of motorcycles ahead of us. I feel bad for them too. Jay was saying it's raining. They must have some sort of a rally or some sort of ride for whatever, but we're definitely going to be very late to Heidi's. Oh my gosh, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. Crazy, crazy. 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 only one. That was three. And then we went to the grand opening and walked all around and no we didn't buy a new rv but we had fun with our friends it didn't take a lot of pictures though and then jay and i decided to go to the beach i was never an ocean person considering they traveled all that way from germany when she was young you know yeah on a boat i did too but she just you know where dad would love to come up here all the time or as often as we we would do it to mom it was like eh. It's all the ocean wants you to see it over and over again. That's literally what her attitude was. Yeah, if you saw it once. Look at that dark cloud over there. Oh man, I sure hope we're not going to get rained on again. Last time we came to the beach, we were rained on. What a wild day we had today. Motorhome shopping with Mike and Judy all over the place. Oh my gosh. And now we're at the beach and it's starting to rain. Is that uh, just, rain? just one big cloud above us, that's all. Last time we came to the beach, it rained. Crapola. <laughs> and yes, it's raining and I have an umbrella. Jay has a hat. We'll probably get there and we'll see that the uh, sandcastles are all knocked down. Oh, <laughs> I remember one time we came up here, it was like July 2nd. Down. I remember on 4th of July, one time, fireworks. I think they were 4th of July fireworks. The sandcastles. Wednesday night, we went to This is the governor's choice. The devil is in the details. Oh yeah. Good choice, Governor Sununu. And this is first place, people's choice. Love is a universal temple. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Look at the top of his head. It looks like there's two. Oops. Hey guys, I never got back yesterday. I um, it was it was a crazy Monday. Today's Tuesday, 
and I went to the doctors yesterday as I talked about over the weekend and um, I spent time with the surgeon. She's absolutely wonderful. This is the Leahy Breast Clinic that I go to, uh, Leahy Breast Center and the surgeon is just absolutely wonderful. She explained my pathology results. She was super happy because they came back so good. She actually hugged me. It was really awesome to be hugged by a surgeon. And um, she did say um, she wanted me to have two layers of testing every six months, an ultrasound as well as a mammo. Um, she said it was more high risk and she also wanted me to have a She's going to set up an appointment with an oncologist and just to discuss options, whether I need to go on any kind of a medication. And I hope not, because last time I went on, um, I think it was tramoxifilin or something like that. I had so many side effects. It was just really awful. Anyways, this whole experience um, has really shown me that I think the importance of, of not forgetting to take care of ourselves, right? We, we get so busy at times that we do so many different things for other people that we kind of forget about taking care of ourselves and doing things for us that we, that we really need to do. And, um, and I'm thinking of Bob, you know, take control Babs, AKA Bob, AKA Barbara, take control of beauty. Those of you that know her, and I know many of, of you do, she, she's going through such a horrible time right now um, with her, she had breast cancer, it metastasized. Um, she's in a lot, a lot of pain and she, she's going through a really horrible time. And uh, Dolores, the baking diva, had set up a GoFundMe for her. And, and I'll tell you right now, I'm not a fan of a lot of the GoFundMes. I get, I get hit up for a lot of them. I'm sure many of you do. And I'm very, very selective on GoFundMes because I'm not going to contribute my money randomly to help someone pay off their credit cards or to help someone buy, you know, a new computer or this or that. I know maybe I'm stingy in that sense, but I'm not going to contribute to something that is that is frivolous in that way but if you're contributing to help someone out like Babs who you know has this cancer scare and your insurance only not scare has this cancer diagnosis and is struggling and your insurance only covers so much there's just there's so many bills that are piling up for her and so Dolores started the GoFundMe for her I will link it in the description box I did talk about it in my community tab and um any any little thing can help. Any anything can help offset some of the astronomical medical bills that are piling up for Babs and her husband Denny. So uh, I, like I said, I don't randomly just do these GoFundMe's or contribute. I I reject more than I ever contribute to. But I know Babs. I know this is legitimate. I love her. She's absolutely wonderful. And um, if you can spare anything at all to help them out, that would be wonderful. The link is in the description box. But more importantly, let this whole experience with Babs, everything that she's gone through and is going through, um, I don't know how much she still has ahead of her. You know, I know she's doing radiation and it's just a tough, tough battle. But if it teaches you anything, and that is to not put your health off, get your screenings. And even the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, recently was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I'm not too sure. She may have had a mastectomy. Um, I had heard a couple of different reports. But regular screening, I have a girlfriend that kind of did not do any screening because she couldn't afford it. And I'm like, gosh, I remember having my babies and not having insurance and making payments. You can always make payments. Your health, you can never get it back once it's gone. But don't ignore, don't ignore those regular screenings and all those super important things that you need to do to take care of you and stay healthy. In my scare with breast cancer, I'm fortunate. I've, I've got a scar that's three and a half, four inches long, but that's it. You know, I have to be careful. I have to do a whole lot of stuff, but I'm fortunate. I look at Sheila, life with Lily. She's had a mastectomy. And of course now Babs, what she's going through, you know, um, it's awful that there's no cure for cancer. I could go on a big, big whole spiel on that. This It's awful. And it's awful that insurance is the way it is, that it doesn't cover everything that we need 
to have covered and that people like Babs and her husband Denny have to struggle financially to get medical care. I think that's awful. You know, absolutely awful. So anyways, Jay and I are going to be going away 4th of July weekend, so I'll probably try to do another vlog from while we're away and all the stuff that we do and share all that with you. But at this point in time, I'm going to end this here. It's been a fun weekend, as you saw some of the clips and all that. And then yesterday, just having great news at the doctor's office. And I know I have to go, and they're going to be booking the mammo and the ultrasound and the oncologist, but I'm just feeling super optimistic. But pray for Babs. Pray for Babs if you can. Thank you all so much. Love you. I'll see you in my next video.